guys, and today we're here with this very unusual, totally tubular, <laughs> totally tubular dude, three and a half inch quad, the TTQ35. An excellent design, uh, very unique, one of the most unique frame designs I've ever seen. This was sent to me the other day, and I had a special request to see how it would perform at the most famous racing location in the world, the night spot. So we are here, we're gonna put this thing on the track, put it to the test, see how it performs. We have a DJI heat tonight. It's one of the most packed nights we've seen at the night spot in a very long time. And so let's get this thing in some racing traffic and see how it performs on these 1408 Toka motors by Diatone. Let's send it. Here we have the TTQ35. This is one of the most unusual and uniquely designed aircrafts that I have seen in some time. And I wanted to show you what it looks like with a 4s 850 uh, mounted in a toilet tank fashion uh, going like this uh, so you have all of the clearance right there look at the center of gravity that you get how low it is you can see there is a slammed deck in there so you pretty much have to use a single layer board this is a 20 by 20 all in one but it also has mounting for whoop all in ones and check out the arms and these uh, stabilizer struts they are tube the internet it's, it's a series of tubes tubes, tubes guys tubes this thing is totally tubular and uh you have this other part that's mounted sort of uh transversely and that really gives you some very unique mounting for this vista unit back here uh with the uh, vista antenna going right here you have some arm protection right here and this also holds the motor housing on there golly this is just absolutely fascinating the way all of this mounts together you can see your all-in-one board there this is express lrs right here and it was sent to me just like this so it does have mounting for sort of a naked camera it has some very nice camera protection that you can see here for the dji og camera that is inside there now you have these pieces that are the camera cage and vista dji cage going across like this and then you have these horizontally things that actually capture and hold these tubes. Man, it is very, very stiff. And then you have some gel pad to hold your battery in place. Uh, I actually really like the type of gel that this thing is using. It's, it's soft but stiff at the same time, so your battery won't be going anywhere. My goodness, look at this thing. Look at this thing. Wow. Wow, wow, all I could say is wow. This is what I'm gonna be using to fly it, a Tattoo H54S. This is using Toka 1408-4100 kV motors. I really, really like this size. This is kind of my uh, preferred size of motors. I really like the Emacs version of this, but Toka has been very, very strong and actually has better styling. And look at just the sort of yellow and green colorway that this thing has. So beautiful. Very unique mounting for this Vista that it mounts vertically, which allows you to really get a slam center of gravity for that battery, giving you one of the most unique flight feels that you have ever felt. So if you're looking for something different, there's a lot of freestyle three and a half inch quads out there, but not a lot of racing style. And this takes a very unique formula, a very unique flight feel. The thing feels like it's on rails. It handles so exceptionally good. And as you can see by this footage, I'm keeping up with five inch quads, no problem on a lot less power with a lot less weight, with a tiny little battery, and I'm passing them back and forth, no problem, because this thing actually has some pretty good speed. I'm able to keep it in the air for two and a half minutes. There's no wires anywhere. <laughs> the wires are running through the center of these tubular arms, so it's probably the cleanest looking drone you will ever see. If you wanna get something like this, check out rubber made quads uh rubber quads the rubber bandits they're coming up with this funky eyes idea volker over there thanks for letting me check your creation out it's really impressive uh so check them out if you want to get something like this
building something that's a little bit different. You know, when you show up to the race spot and everyone has the same frame, everyone has the same motors, sometimes it's kind of cool seeing something totally different. Remember when we all used to do something different back in the day? Well, there's nothing more different than one of these. Are you gonna get tubes? Did you used to like to uh, jump in one of those tubes when you were playing Super Mario Brothers? Get that mushroom, maybe a little fireballs. You never know where tubes are gonna take you. The internet's made of tubes. Now, if you like this content, if you like me being able to check out new rare stuff that's coming out on the verge of what the newest technology is, please consider liking, subscribing to this video. Join my Patreon if you wanna support. Appreciate all the support to this, guys, but we're trying to grow this thing. So if you can help, even just by giving a like and a comment below, let me know what your thoughts. Are you into tubes? How many kids? Do you think you're gonna have before you consider getting your tubes tied? You can get that tube fixed with this thing and it's a lot less painful. Thanks guys.